president's uh, first anniversary in office, um, what does he regard as his single most important uh, achievement? And does he acknowledge that any mistakes have been made? And if so, what's the biggest mistake? Uh, well, I would say first that um, you know the president is very proud of the progress we've made uh, in getting 200 million Americans vaccinated. Very proud of the work we have done to uh, cut the uh, childhood poverty by 40%. Uh, to help Americans who needed a little extra help get by through a challenging economic time, uh, the work we did to get a bipartisan infrastructure bill passed, and to rebuild our place in the world. There are many others, I think, uh, confirming, uh, nominating and confirming uh, historic judges uh, to, uh, across the board, uh, ensuring that our administration up and down uh, the ranks looks like America. Uh, and I could go on from there, fighting to take steps on climate in a historic manner uh, that has been more than any administration in the past. Uh, in terms of uh, of terms of what we look back, uh, you know, I'm not going to speculate on that from here. I will I will let the president speak to that the next time you all see him. But did he underestimate uh, Donald Trump's continued grip on the Republican Party and and how difficult that would make it to work across the aisle and unite the nation? You know, I will tell you that uh, hearing Kevin McCarthy talk today, for an example, and seeing what he said on January 21st last year is a pretty stark reminder of uh, how, uh, how much uh, sway the former president has over members of his party. Uh, I think that's disappointing for everybody, not just people who work here. Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. Um, I wanted to ask a question from some colleagues who couldn't be here. Sure. And then, and then before I get to that, I wanted to follow up on a question that, that Justin asked. Sure. Um, the president was in the Senate for 36 years. Yeah. Um, we're at a point where his legislative agenda on Build Back Better and Voting Rights Act has hit major roadblocks. Is there some introspection that his approach to the Senate is not working, and is he? Are there changes that he's? making to his approach to the Senate, given his experience there. Well, I would also point to his experience leading him to stay focused and committed to the bipartisan infrastructure bill, something that many said could never happen. And when it was voted on, 19 Republicans voted for it. He leaned on his experience in the Senate to get that done. He leaned on his experience in the Senate to get the American Rescue Plan done and passed into law. And he will continue to lean on his, sen on his experience in the Senate and as for, as a former vice president to press for voting rights legislation, to press for Build Back Better, and getting those pieces of legislation done. So I would say, uh, you know, the successes we had in the past year and that he had, despite the fact that there was a slim margin, uh, are actually, uh, I mean, I guess I'm biased, but pretty impressive given the margin we had in the Senate and the challenges we had up against us.